Band pull aparts are a great exercise for teaching kind of good upper body posture as well as building up some cuff strength. But unfortunately, a lot of people do them incorrectly. And when you do them for high volumes of, uh, of reps, it can quickly kind of add up and create a lot of dysfunction in the upper body. So the two biggest mistakes that I see from folks are, first and foremost, when you see folks from the front, they may look great. And then you turn to the side and they're doing their band pull aparts in a ton of extension. So the first cue is, hey, let's try to get them down into a neutral spine posture so that when they do these, they're actually working at the shoulders. The other one is a little bit tougher to see. So I'm gonna have Mike kind of demonstrate this when you face that way. And what we watch for is what's actually happening at the shoulder blades. So in reality, if you think about what's truly happening here, there shouldn't be a whole lot of actual scapular retraction that's taking place because they aren't really moving that much further past neutral. In reality, most of this should just be the ball moving on the socket. So when you see a lot of folks with their shoulder blades coming all the way together, if he was gonna overdo it like that, it's not really syncing up the movement of the scapula with the movement of the, the actual humerus on that socket, okay? So one of the things I look for is, can we separate this motion out? In other words, if I was gonna do a no money from the back, this would be bad, whereas this, and then maybe a little bit of end range retraction would be good. So as we go through this, we want good motion of the humerus or the arm before that scapula kicks on from a timing standpoint, all right? So what are some cues that we can actually use to work on this? Um, to correct the first one, I really like just doing our, our pull aparts in supine. So Mike's gonna lie lengthwise along the, uh, the roller here. And before he even grabs the band, I'll probably slide that way just a little bit. He's gonna be nice and flat backed here. He's gonna keep his ribs down. He's gonna engage his core just a little bit. Chin tucked so his cervical spine's in neutral. And then he'll reach right up here and he'll go through it, all right? He probably wants to be in a little bit more shoulder flexion up here as he goes through it. So the other thing that's great about this is the roller actually gives you feedback for that second cue. So basically what happens is Mike's aware of whether he's pulling his shoulder blades aggressively uh, kind of down and back together because the roller will kind of make him aware of that. What we want is we want good motion of the arm before any of that scapular movement kicks on.